Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we're doing another evening out makeup today. Um, we're just heading to the city. We're going to see the Sydney Vivid Lights um, Festival and um, I thought I would just do a quick get ready with me for that. This is going to be a voiceover so it's going to be super super fast. I'm going to try and make it really small and compact and get everything up and running um, as soon as possible. But this is my finished look today. Um, I've just had my, I've just curled my hair a little bit and then just brushed them out just to kind of give it like a nice natural wavy sort of look. I'm not sure how well that's translating, but I tried anyways. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, just starting out with my Mario Badescu facial spray that I've put in a Fix Plus bottle and just dabbing that in with my beauty blender. And then going straight in with my Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer and I'm just using my hands to apply this one. Um, just a quick dab all around and just making sure that it's nicely rubbed into the skin and again making sure that I've pushed the product in with my sponge. So just locking everything in place and then going in with my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in MC30 and I'm using the sponge to apply that and push it into the skin. While I'm um, putting on my foundation, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It is just in the bottom right hand corner. Um, it'll help me out loads. Um, and then after that, I'm going in with my NYX Above and Beyond Concealer in Light. And I'm just using a brush to apply that and then using my fingers to blend that in. And I'm also gonna follow this up with um, with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 medium and I'm going to use my sponge to blend that in with the other concealer as well and I will whatever is on the sponge I will take that in the center of my face and just blend everything in together like that so just in the bridge of my nose a little bit on my forehead um, cupid's bow and my chin I'm just going in with my baby lips in cherry and then following it up with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm just using um, using that powder to set my under eyes at the minute and I'm going to um, prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot um, and I'm just using my fingers to apply this one and then I'll go back in with my Stay Matte Powder and powder the rest of my face and set my eyes as well just getting them ready for the eyeshadow. I'm just taking a big fluffy, um, I think it's the e.l.f. Uh, powder brush, or the complexion brush. It's the e.l.f. complexion brush, um, just powdering the rest of my face. Um, and then also setting my eyes with the same powder like I said. I'm going in with the MAC bronzer in matte bronze and just bronzing out my face. Just the usual. Um, I decided to choose the powder bronzer for this one um, instead of my cream products. I've been leaning more towards my cream products lately, but for this one I just felt like um, powder is enough. So just bronzing up my usual places and then um, taking a smaller brush to bronze up my nose. Um, and I'm mixing two blushes today. I'm using the NYX Cinnamon and the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink. Just wanted a little extra something on my cheeks, so I decided to mix those two blushes. Dolce Pink is a little bit more on the shimmery side, so gave me a really nice dewy finish to my cheeks, which I love. And then now starting out with my eyes, I'm going in with the Naked Shade and I'm placing that all over my eyelids um, and I just used a blending brush to do that. Um, just decided to coat my entire eyelids and then um, concentrated that a little bit in the crease um, and that's our first transition shade and then following it up with a deeper shade in Buck and um, just making sure that I'm getting the depth and definition in my crease area and I used a slightly angled brush for that one just to get better placement so you can see that it's quite, a, it's quite deepened up now. Um, I'm using the same shame. Sorry, I'm using the same shadow and bringing that on my lower lash line. I'm using a smaller brush now and going in with um, 
the same shutter buck and just deepening up the outer corner um, and I'm using the ELF blending brush for that one. So just giving a little bit more definition and then I'm going back in with a naked shade and just blending out any harsh edges. So just in the top of my, um, closer to my brow bone area basically. Then I'm going in with the black factor shade and building up the intensity in my outer corner. Um, I'm concentrating that mostly on the lower lash line and then dragging it up. Um, so as you can tell, it's just mostly on the outer third um, of the eye and I used a smaller brush to do this. Um, this is the Essence of Beauty crease brush. Um, and bringing that shadow down as well on my lower lash line and connecting both um, the top and the lower lash line. Then going in with carbon to again build the intensity in my outer corner and I was using the e.l.f. angled shadow brush for this one. It's a bit more tightly packed and I wanted the definition, um, sort of like a cat eye look um, going on. So just decided to use the tip of the brush to place the shadow and then blend upwards as well. And then going back in with um, just nothing on the, sh on the brush, but just the angled brush that we used earlier with um, Buck and just blending out any harsh edges. And then I'm carving out um, my inner corner, or like my inner third of the eye to a half. Um, and I'm using the soft ochre paint pot. I wish I'd used um, a concealer rather than the paint pot, but at that time I didn't realize it. And then when I looked back in the photos, I wish I'd done the concealer because it was a little bit more lighter. Um, this one was quite similar to my skin tone. I wanted a little bit lighter. Um, and then just going back in with my Urban Decay palette, using Toasted, I think. Um, in the middle of the eye and then for the inner corner I'm using Copperfield. Um, I wasn't getting the intensity that I wanted so I decided to go back in with Toasted um, Shadow again but with um, a wet brush. So taking that Toasted again and then spritzing my um, brush with the Mario Badescu spray that's in that bottle and um, just applying that on the same area as before, just the center of the eyelid. Um, and then just overlapping the two shadows, so the carbon and the toasted. And um, going in with half back, oh, I cannot talk today. <laughs> so going back in with half baked in the inner corner. And for my eyeliner, I decided to open up my Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner in Blackest Black. It has a really fine tip, so not quite ideal, but if you want to get like a really thin eyeliner going on then this is perfect for it. It's a very 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 fine tip but regardless really easy to use. Um, and then I'm taking the Creep eyeshadow um, on my lower lash line. It had a little bit of a glitter to it and I wanted that little pop of color. Very dark but I um, wanted that something extra on my lower lash line so I decided to use that. And then I'm using Sin to highlight my inner corner and I'll use that same shadow to highlight my brow bone as well. Um, and then I am taking the Clinique eyeliner in black brown and just tight lining both my upper and lower water lines um, and cleaning everything up with the powder again. So that was the Rimmel Stain Up Powder. I'm just cleaning the lower lash line and everything. So did my eyebrows and lashes off camera and for my mascara I'm using the uh, Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Um, and then I'm just kind of brushing any fallout or anything out of the way. And I'm going in with my Becca highlighter in opal and just highlighting the usual places I normally would. So um, cheekbones, a little bit above and around my brow bone area. And my bridge of the nose tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, and a little bit on the chin area as well. I just love using this fan brush because it kind of disperses the product really um, in a way where you don't have to go back and blend anything and you know it's just it's very subtle. So I love that about that. So I'm using the highlighter again in the inner corners and brow bone just to kind of blend everything together, pull the look together as well. And then using my Giordana lip liner in natural, um, just lining and filling in my lips with this uh, lip liner and then going in with the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Warm Me Up. And this was 
on its own more than enough. It is a little bit of a creamier texture, so it gave me just the perfect finish to the lips that I wanted. And then just taking the powder again and just cleaning up my contour and bronzer area just to give more of a defined look. And then setting everything in place with the Mario Badescu um, Rose Facial Setting Spray as well. Alright guys, thank you for staying till the end. Um, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you liked the video and if you liked my technique and everything, then please don't forget to share it with your friends as well. It'll help me out loads. Um, so yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching again and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!